welcome in and welcome. Such powerful meditation. Such powerful energy today. Hello. All right. What are we going to get into today? Our energy is nice and cleansed. Make sure you're hydrated. Welcome to the pause. Let me get your your scents and your smells ready. I personally love lavender. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Your um crystals if you need them so welcome to the pause we are going to i'm gonna move this so that you're right in front of me mm -mm. Yay! good morning good afternoon angelina welcome so Let's just take this moment right now to just breathe into how we're feeling. How are you today? It is Tuesday on the calendar. <laughs> and mm, we welcome this time, this energy to just pause. Invite a deep breath. Hold it at the top. And then allow it to just release. Another inhale. Hold it. Feel into where you are. it out. Whew. <laughs> it is a wonderful time, a wonderful moment to be here. I just got the message. <laughs> I've got it. Keep inviting those intentional breaths into your body. And also even think of a moment where you've needed these intentional breaths, this intentional time with yourself. And then embody the fact and the notion that you have access to that always. Every moment of your existence, you have access to your breath. You have access to your vessel. You have access to just stopping and pausing within your existence and really, really just feeling where you are. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You also get to dance in the fact that you remember how you feel after you take these breaths. You remember how light and free and uh, unburdened you felt after pausing and taking a moment with yourself, breathing. Mm. 
So on the topic of, yes, I love myself and I love you. On the topic of feeling into our bodies, we're gonna do some throw activation right now. Now it is noon. <clears throat> what has your throat been activated for today? Has it been activated at all today? And has it been activated for yourself? Those are the questions you wanna ask. And those are the questions you wanna ask every day, okay? Activate your throat. So we're just gonna start out with an inhale and then we're gonna hum whatever tune comes out. Yeah, so there's some roughness for sure in my throat. So let's go ahead and inhale. What's it, what do you feel in your throat? What's it, what's happening in there? <laughs> mm, much more clear the second time. Mm. Then go ahead and inhale and try a different route, try a different tune, a different direction. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Smiling gives a really nice hum. Inhale. Mm. Ooh. So I'm feeling that voice up here. Maybe we can reach down into our sacral and solar plexus and see if we can access that energy into our throat let's connect the sacral solar plexus heart and throat and of course the root we're connecting them all with our voice inhale How does that feel? Let's go ahead and inhale again and see if we can do that again from the sacral center here, our power center and our um, our solar plexus, our willpower, our willpower. So we're gonna go ahead and you kind of feel your stomach deflating. That's really how I got that tone. <laughs> so inhale. Know that you have access to your voice always, always, always. And sometimes we don't activate our voices in our throats until much later in the day. You can do this first thing in the morning. Have a hum. Have a hum and feel the vibration of your soul, of your body. You creating, you initiating that feeling within yourself unlocks so many codes within you. We all should be singing. We all should be using our voices, humming and allowing a melody to just flow within our bodies, flow within who we are and how we are. Do you remember when we were little and we were all forced to sing? It doesn't matter whether you like to do it or not we were all in choir we were all it, it may not have been in church but at least in school like we were all up in there when's the last time you sang and just bursted those those vocal cords just let them out oh my goodness <laughs> ah so just remember this, remember this moment. This isn't just yet another self activation, another body activation, another way to come home to your body and feel at home in your body. So um, I'm here for all of those keys. We're gonna take a moment to meditate now and just feel into our vessel today. I haven't, I haven't, meditated today so this will be my first time with you all let's do it let's observe our thoughts let's observe our our feelings how are we feeling what is within us let's go there <laughs> wow the sky is so clear not a single cloud 
Okay. I love clouds, but I love, I just love, I just love life. <laughs> okay. Take some deep breaths. Make any noises you need. Activate your throat if you'd like this time. Remember you are observing your thoughts, observing, not controlling or guiding or commenting, observing and watching. Be curious of what your body has for you, what your soul has for you, your ancestors. What messages can you unlock in these next moments together?
Hmm. We're gonna invite some deep breaths in. Ooh. Notate how you're feeling right now. Feel into where you are right now. Oh my goodness. Amazing. It's just wild. It yeah. I I went on many event adventures there. Do you guys are there any questions like let me know if you have any questions about meditating um i've ha i had a couple of prompts come up because sometimes i will find myself holding my breath so whenever i find myself holding my breath i come back to my breath. I take a deep breath. <laughs> I'm like, I'm holding my breath right now. It, it happens when it exhales and then I'm sitting here. This may happen to you too. Let me know. Uh, and then I'll just sit there in silence. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> I'm not breathing. <laughs> and so I'll take a deep breath. And then it also fixes my posture as well. So whenever, so whenever you hear, oh, just come back to the breath, that's what it means. When you find any kind of irregularities or any kind of, um, you're harping on a thought or you, you've gone on the venture with the thought, like you're with it now, you're like holding on to it. It's like, let, no, no, let it go, let it go. So you take a deep breath and then you, you, uh, let it all out and then you're like, Wait, what was I even overthinking about? <laughs> so that's the reset. That's the way back. And then soon you're just, you're on to the next thought. Oh my gosh. You are so welcome. I'm thankful for you. And I'm so glad that helps too. I'm so glad that helps. Because if I, I mean, I meditate all the time and I'm up here holding my breath <laughs> it's human and then there was another one that I thought of um, <laughs> well that's just gonna have to be so <laughs> how are you all how is this energy we shift into Sagittarius season tomorrow and it's gonna be something, uh, something just beautiful. Sagittarius is about freedom. I mean, you're gonna to wanna to be in a routine because it's also about that fiery action that is supported in what you want to accomplish. You can accomplish a lot this season, a lot with this energy. <laughs> However, You've got to be aware of yourself and what's going on because Sagittarius is about freedom. Sagittarius is about, it's about traveling and fleeting and moving around, but also getting what you want, standing up for what you want, having conviction in what you want. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome energy. It's a fiery sign. Yeah. Yes, and if you're constantly overthinking things, just become your, your um, like a third party. Become a third party to your thoughts, your body, and, and then there's you. You, thoughts, body. There's one thing I learned at meditation with a monk, <laughs> meditate with a monk, um, is that our thoughts are mind objects. The only thing that's giving anything power that you think of is literally you taking the thought and holding it and being like, this is mine. This is my thought. Also, impermanence is something I learned as well. 
this thought, it comes and it goes and it's gone. But you're still holding on to it. And the only thing that's keeping it here is your attention to the thought. They're just mind objects. They come and go. <laughs> wow, that's so amazing. Thank you. I'm just, I'm so glad that you take the time. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> you as well. You as well. Have a wonderful week and just so many blessings. You are amazing. You are powerful. Ah, everything is yours. <laughs> So wonderful. So, oh yes, yes. I was not able to share yesterday's message. As I'm talking about it, I'm going to get some tarot flowing. <laughs> so I wasn't able to share yesterday's message because it was just... Uh, Instagram technical difficulties and then I had people in the chat telling me that it was buffering the whole time and they weren't able to see me so whatever energy was in the sky said no you don't get to connect with Melanie today <laughs> love you too and so um, yeah that happened so here is the message again because it has turned it up again this is a week you may be seeing family this week you may be seeing uh, people that you haven't seen in a long time and what I want you to do is try try with all of your might to stay grounded in who you are stay grounded in what you have built up until this day people are gonna want to sway you energies are gonna want to sway you things are gonna want to move you from your track and as I said, Sagittarius season is about freedom. You don't get to hold anybody down and no one is holding you down, not a single soul. So stand firm in who you are. And the only way that you can stand firm in who you are is if you know who you are. You know how you are. You know how you make decisions. And whew, if anyone can call you out on you, it's your family. And so if you are going to be around family this week, please. Hold strong in who you are. Hold strong, okay? I'm not saying start drama. I'm not saying anything of the sort. But definitely, if anyone tries to tell you who you are, this year, this time, this energy, you stand up for yourself. You talk. You say something. You activate that throat. Activate that throat. I knew we did that for a reason. Someone is going to try to tell you who you are. <laughs> That's the message I'm getting, okay? We have Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And this is just, even the way she's sitting, like her stature, it's just like, no one can tell me anything. I win. I am the, the earth, okay? She's this grounded queen who gets everything, everything she desires, everything she wants. Pentacles is money, that bank. <laughs> so... You standing in your power, stepping in your power, you're going to magnify power towards you. You might, wow, ooh, this is fun, this is fun, I'm getting some downloads. You might get to a deeper level with somebody this this year, this um, this season. Like someone in your family, someone who you haven't seen in a while, you're going to get to know them on a different level because you're not you're not operating in fear anymore you're not operating in oh what are they gonna say you're not operating in am i being a perfect human in order to show up for the family or whatever you're treating them as other human beings so you get to have really cool conversations now with the other people in your family and within your your um your community and neighborhood and everything because you're grounded in who you are you don't care you're not micromanaging the conversation anymore you're just you're free oh my goodness i love that for you i love that so fun for me it's always been oh that's super cute okay <laughs> let me put intentions into the card before accepting those but um it's going to be big. So that we did talk a lot about that yesterday. And so ooh. and it always repeats if I always if I put something up, it repeats.
yes yes <laughs> i love that so temperance temperance and ooh, what's this about temperance is that balance you want that balance and then seven of wands is about creating that protection build that protection around you okay you spend this time with yourself you spend this time uplifting yourself creating who you are creating the mindset the empowerment that you desire that you want that you need and and then you get in front of certain people and then you change it no 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 <laughs> we're not doing that so what we are doing we are keeping <laughs> we are keeping this balance here okay the temperance the temperance says ground yourself before you before you take off before you move into any kind of energy that is not for you okay you have the sun you have the moon i mean gosh there's gonna be emotions this week and that's gonna have to be okay because you are protected you're building this protection right now whatever happens on thursday friday saturday sunday you are ready for it you're ready your ace of pentacles right here this is what is your root you're grounded okay you can have a spark of creativity a spark of anything and it's going to magnify what is next for you so it did come out like you have this uh ten of swords that is saying look you well let's focus on this um you are going to be letting something go something is going to be let go in the sense of like how i was saying you might be confronting somebody this week you might be learning something deeper of somebody that you don't know i don't know who what that message is for but that that's that yes i love myself yes and i love you and so chariot this is gonna happen fast now what we talk about a lot well maybe i talk about it a lot is um generational healing generational healing this could be just that quick energy to what you you are letting go within your bloodline within what you have is there something that's going to be um pushing out of the light allow it to be because you're protected and on the other side of that you get the world the world uh, the world because you decided to stay grounded to love yourself to show up for yourself and to be to be free sagittarius season we are freedom we are not holding on to any ties guys you are not going through what you are going through healing yourself do working on your boundaries working on your affirmations doing all of this work to put on a suit and show up to your family or show up to whoever you're showing up and then put on an act for them no and i don't want to hear oh you know they're not ready to see me they are not ready to blah 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 this is you this is it this is the moment right now be yourself be brave stand within yourself because you know people are actually waiting to see you they're waiting to see the real you they're waiting to see the love that you exude but that you don't see within yourself they're waiting for you to see that oh and they're excited so don't you don't you worry for a second about this coming out about this you being you about any of that because you get it the bottom of the deck you have the ace of wands you can manifest anything anything at all okay this energy does not get you down so oh my goodness how does that feel to you okay if you are loving this okay if you're watching this in the replay definitely comment i love myself definitely comment if this resonates like share subscribe all that wonderful stuff uh if you know someone who needs this message wow get this to them before thursday <laughs> but this message is timeless and i appreciate you all for being here and showing up in this cute little birdie outside oh, so wonderful we're gonna take a quick moment not a quick moment an aligned moment to just breathe and feel into this and again i am melanie of melamind and i just want you to love yourself that is what i'm here i'm here to activate 
the self-love within you because I love myself and I know what it's like to live. It's wonderful. I have a great life because of my self-love and I'm spreading it, spreading it to all of you. So let's just breathe that in. Breathe it all in. Breathe in the gratitude and the love and just be yourself. Be you. Ah. Oh you love yourself yes i love myself <laughs> mm. <sighs> wonderful Okay, have a wonderful, powerful day, beautiful souls. Mwah. <laughs>